In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Waterman Culture Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink. And as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Waterman Culture. This is a very affordable fountain pen. I believe the retail is maybe around $30, but I think I paid $14 from this from Walmart or Amazon. Usually, I think they, they have around uh, $15 to $20. And this is very budget. It's made in, in France, and it's based on the Waterman Phileas. I think that's how you say it. This is a pen that you used to be able to get at like Staples or Office Depot, that kind of place. In terms of differences, you know, you can see obviously that this has a chrome trim and rings, and then you have a, a uh, marbled finish. I also noticed less seams. Like there are some, unfortunately, there are some seams that are pretty apparent on the culture that were not on the Phileas. So it's not made quite as nicely, but the nibs appear to be the exact same. They just don't have any gold plating on them, uh, but otherwise they're the same shape and the same feed as far as I can tell. The Phileas is a pen that I think pen uh, fountain pen users really like. Uh, it's a really good writer, very reliable and very affordable. So people really liked those pens. I never had one. Uh, other than that ballpoint, uh, so I can't really speak to that, but I'm pretty impressed with, well, I don't want to say I'm impressed with <laughs> this pen. I'm impressed that it's $15. I think the, the clip is the most, n the nicest looking part of this. The rest of it is pretty mediocre looking with, you know, some visible seams and some, you know, machining tooling marks here, like on the, the end of the, the cap. I don't think that looks particularly nice, but, you know, for the price, I really can't complain. I mean, you're getting a, a Waterman made in France, full-size pen with a nice nib, so you really can't complain too much. In terms of the, the shape, you know, it is pretty rounded here uh, towards the top. There's no finial, but you have this very distinctive clip that kind of cuts into the, the top of the, the cap there. Uh, it looks, the clip itself looks, I think, pretty nice. You know, it's a stamped piece. It's not... Uh, anything crazy but the the finish on it I, I really can't complain about that it does say waterman here on the bottom of the cap there we do have a visible seam and then it says france on the back and we kind of taper towards the the tail of the pen and it kind of terminates in this point which does have this kind of unpleasant rough end there now untaking the cap off you have a uh, clear grip section which the phileas never had chrome ring here and then there's a, a dip down to the grip section so you probably i mean i can't really feel this dip when i'm holding it so I, I don't know it hasn't bugged me so i would pretty much say you do get kind of this full length and it is a good size grip section very comfortable and then you have a nice looking uh waterman nib here it says waterman paris and uh, this is again basically the same nib design that we saw on the phileas but it doesn't have the two-tone uh, trim there with the gold that part is absent uh, it does not come with a converter uh, which I guess you would expect that considering the expert which is $170 doesn't come with a converter but you do get two of the big Waterman cartridges uh, with it overall it's a really nice pen for $14 I mean I think I you know, this is up there for me. If I were to buy it again, I would probably go for the all translucent version, maybe hide a little bit of those seams, especially since it seems like dust kind of can get stuck in there. Um, but really nice full-size pen. Let's do some measurements here. This is about 126, 27 long. Posted, it does post nicely and securely. We're at about 147, 148. And capped, we're about, you know, 134, I would say. In terms of the grip section, I'm going to go all the way back here towards where, like, the, the ring is, because I do think you can hold it there pretty comfortably. 11.7, that's pretty wide. And then right here where it starts to flare out, 9.4. So it's a, it's a fat grip section. In terms of the weight, 
And this is with a relatively full cartridge. 10.72, so quite light. And then with the cap, 17.04. So it's a lightweight pen. You know, to me, I, I would say maybe it feels similar. It feels more rigid, I would say, than a Lummi Safari, but it has kind of a, a similar weight to that. It doesn't necessarily feel cheap, but it doesn't feel premium either. So I'll be doing the writing sample in a Papermind Mitsubishi bank paper notebook. These notebooks are really excellent with fountain pens and for Blake's broadcasts, viewers and subscribers, you do get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Okay, so this is the Waterman Culture and this is a fine and this is Waterman I think it's Serenity Blue. I don't know what they're called anymore, but this is a cartridge that came with the pen. Fast writing. Yeah, um, performance is really good, as you would expect from a, a Waterman pen. Uh, the fine is, I think, a true fine, uh, which I like. Uh, it's not super wide. And, you know, in terms of smoothness, I would say it's medium. You know, there's a little bit of uh, some feedback there, nothing unpleasant. Uh, there, There's definitely, it's not like a complete buttery smooth nib, but it's not scratchy there's just some nice feedback there in terms of flexibility no it's pretty much an ale i wouldn't bother with that reverse writing it can do it but i, I mean the difference is so small i don't think it's really worth it overall really like this pen it's very comfortable it's very affordable and it, it writes nicely as you would expect a waterman too what are my pros and cons for the waterman culture fountain pen the biggest pro here is definitely the price i mean i was able to get this for 15 dollars, and i see them you know right around that that price quite a lot for this price you have a great writing nib it's made in france it looks pretty good it feels pretty good for 15 dollars. i mean i really can't complain it's a full-size pen you get a nice big nib. I like this translucent grip section. I mean, it certainly doesn't make it necessarily look more expensive, but for $15, I, I think it makes it a little bit more fun. I really like it. Very comfortable pen. In terms of cons, you know, fit and finish is not amazing, but it's $15 or $20, whatever. You know, there are some seams that I would prefer not to see. It's a very lightweight pen. It doesn't feel like a, a premium pen. Compared to a, a Safari, it feels more rigid than that, but it has a similar kind of light weight to it. So it's just definitely not that premium feeling or looking. But for $15, I mean, I really don't think you can complain too much. You don't get a cartridge or you don't get a converter, but as we saw in the Waterman Expert that I reviewed, even a $170 pen or whatever it is, doesn't come with a converter. That's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.